Hi there, I'm going to be walking you through how to use Woodpecker today. To start, I've just got a basic document like a last will and testament, but you can use any document that lends itself to being turned into a template. To start, open up your document in Word, launch Woodpecker on the right, and click the Turn My Document into a Template button. Woodpecker will analyze your document for dynamic words and phrases that lend themselves to be turned into template fields. I can see here on the right that Woodpecker has found some suggestions for fields for me in my document. I can select the field type for each one of them, or I can reject each one outright. I'll reject this one and this one, but create the others. When I click Create, Woodpecker is going to go through the document, create the fields that it's found as suggestions, and insert them into the document for me. I'll essentially end up with what is a finished template that I can use right away. Now that Woodpecker has inserted the suggested fields, I have a fully functional template. I'll likely want to add additional fields, and to do that, I can click the Create a Field button up at the top. Woodpecker will prompt me to specify a name for my field, as well as select the type. Woodpecker offers seven different field types, and you can select between them to represent the type of information you have in your document the best way possible. Single line text fields are fairly basic and only allow you to enter in one line of text. Rich text fields allow you to do things with fonts, sizes, colors, numbers, and lists. Date fields allow you to specify date formats as well as default values like today, tomorrow, or yesterday. Number fields only allow you to enter in numbers and restrict the types of inputs that can be entered. Single select fields allow you to specify a predefined list of options that you can select from via a dropdown. Conditional fields allow you to specify conditional clauses and conditional values that depend on the values of other fields. Formula fields are essentially like having Excel within Word. With formulas you can calculate dynamic values depending on the values of other fields within your document. Default value can be specified for each field, I'll go ahead and leave it blank for now, and I can also specify guidance notes so that the consumer of my template knows what to put into this field. Once I save the field, I'll have it added to my list here. There's two ways to get this field into the document. One is to put my cursor somewhere in the doc and go ahead and click the plus zero button here. Woodpecker is going to insert the test field right where my cursor was and now the field is in the document. Another way to do it is say I had three instances of the name John Smith in my doc. I can actually use the bulk insert feature next to each field name by clicking the down arrow and clicking bulk insert. Woodpecker is telling me that it can insert my field test field at every occurrence of some word or phrase. I'll go ahead and type in John Smith, click insert, and see that Woodpecker finds each occurrence of John Smith and inserts the field at each one of those occurrences. Now I have my test field in my document six times because I've inserted it at each occurrence of John Smith as well as inserted it manually. Now that my template is finished, I'll want to save it to my document collection. To save it to my document collection, all I have to do is click this upload button in the top right here. Instead of populating each individual document one at a time, I can actually populate multiple documents at once. I'll first start by filling out this template. Next, instead of clicking populate to populate this individual template, I'll click this down arrow here and select populate multiple. Woodpecker will populate my existing document that I'm looking at and then also pull down the list of documents in my document collection. I can see that I have one additional document in my document collection, so I'll go ahead and select it. I'm telling Woodpecker that I would like to populate my engagement letter as well as the last will and testament that I'm currently looking at with the information that I've provided in the currently open document. I'll go ahead and click Populate. Woodpecker will populate both documents with the information I've supplied and then hand me a zip folder and a shared link that I can share with whoever I like. If I download the zip file, I'll see both of my last will and testament and my engagement agreement with the information that I've specified for John Smith. I can also copy a link to share it with whoever I like, for example, a client. For further information on working with conditionals, single selects, and formula fields, please see our support center.